Hello people, welcome to another weekly vlog. So it's Monday and I'm currently walking into my village to collect my antibiotics. They said that most of them are already, so I've got to head off and collect those. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping because I'm in need of some shopping and then I will head back. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I literally, I went to pick up my antibiotics and then I went for a little bit of shopping. I went into this cheap shop and I got a few bits in there. I got my aunt's birthday present, which is, I believe, like the end of this week, like this weekend. And I've also got my nan a birthday present as well. Her birthday is not till April the 11th. But I thought I need to get it. At some point, um, what I'm thinking of doing is for like Mother's Day of getting my nan some flowers. Um, obviously, I can't really get them yet because they die off really easily so I'm gonna try and like give her some somehow she is most likely going to be at my aunt's this weekend though well, I think it is mother Sunday this weekend or it's next weekend I can't really remember the weekend that it is um but yeah I need to like try and prepare for that um yeah and then I went into co-op which is a supermarket here um, it's just in my village and you wouldn't believe the well you probably could but like the cleaning section and the just to be honest household section it's ridiculous like I was after some basics that I forgot to tell my nan on the shopping list I wasn't entirely sure if she was able to go shopping either so I went and got some bits that I could use in case so for example I got some cereal and I um, I got some small bin liners, I got some toilet blocks, I got some lettuce because I ran out, I got some carrots for cookie, yeah, just got some essentials really. And I got some roll-on deodorant because I very, very nearly finished mine. Got a couple of days left in mine so I thought I'd get another one just to replace that so that I would have a spare just in case for some reason those have a little shortage. So, yeah, it's always good to have at least one spare. People, learn your lesson. Don't have like 20 spare. It's just stupid. Like, so, yeah, I didn't even bother going to the toilet roll section. I mean, I didn't need any anyway, but yeah, I just, I really, really just wanted small bin bags for like my actual like household bins. Um, so, yeah, I, I picked up this roll of like 25 that. Um, I think they're still going to be too big, but it's all I could get for, you know, it's just, oh, just pretty cool. I got myself a new Airwick spray. It's the, I've always wanted to get one because they're like, they seem really cool. They like puff out air um, with this, the spray can so that your place still just, it just smells nice. So I thought I'd get myself one and it puts a puff out like every few minutes so that it keeps the place smelling nice you can change the amount of times it does spray so like let's say I know you're out of the building for a few days you can set it on a really sort of like slow puff maybe it's like once an hour or something I don't really know I've just put it on the three but to be honest it's only puffing like probably every 10 minutes like one little puff but it's meant to last apparently 60 days so yeah I mean the cans I think the, the actual airwork pure, like spray thing was three pounds they had it reduced and then the can they had it reduced as well I think and they were three pounds so they had them on a deal so I thought well now I've got one um that'd be really really really, really cool to use so yeah so I went and got some essentials spent my wages pretty much on some essentials I needed. I got a sort of like wiper scraper for my bathroom that's meant to um, be really good against the glass or tiles like for what when water's on it so I can literally just like run it against it and then the water sh just comes off in the scraper and obviously it will go into the bath and down the drain so I thought I'd give that a go. It was only um, I think it was only like £1.50 or something from the cheap shop. So yeah so I got my nan's some soap for her birthday it's like handcrafted soap um, and I got her like three of them so 
will definitely last for a while but then are really unique ones like ones like a chocolate truffle they're, they're shaped like slices of cake and they're designed like them there's one that's a raspberry one and I can't remember like the third one I think it's blueberry or something so she's got three of those and I've got a little gift bag um, for my aunt I found like the perfect gift for her birthday and it's a craft box um, that's really really pretty for your crafting items or your knitting and my aunt does crafting and knitting so I thought well, this is perfect so yeah I literally I saw it in the shop and I was like that's Auntie Anne's present like straight away I was just like that is Auntie Anne's present it's really cool so yeah so I came back here um, my laundry had finished because it was on an hour and a half run because it contained my uniform and because of this coronavirus thing that's going on I really, really need to put my uniform on like high heat because high heat kills the virus. So yeah, so I put it on an hour and a half um, and obviously I won't need my uniform until next week because I'm off work this week on annual leave. So I've done that, it's currently on the dryer but because I've got the heating going on in my flat and because the sun's actually shining, it's actually quite warm in the flat, hence why I'm in my t-shirt. So and that will like blast out like... <laughs> Actually, I found that it was blasting out quite late last time I had the heating on. I actually feel like it went beyond 5pm, which normally it, you know, is, it dies down by like 5pm. So, yeah, that was really cool. Um, so hopefully it stays on and then my clothes can just dry in the thing and then when I come back later, I'll put the actual heater thing on so that it dries like overnight because I won't obviously have my heating on tomorrow because I'll be at Aaron's tomorrow that's the plan anyway so I've got my window open in the living room it's letting in in fact the air isn't even cold um like because the sun's out the air is actually quite nice um and I've got the windows open in my bathroom so the air is circulating around my flat and obviously I've got my air purifier on it's just on a really, really low low um but yeah it's it's still strong enough to circulate the flat because the flat is only really really small so so I've done all that I've done, I've done the laundry I've done some washing up I had two loads of washing up I had some this morning and then I had some today my loaf of bread in fact both of them but to be honest I'm not surprised with the first one because the first one I had two weeks ago but the one that I had last week that had gone off and I feel like that's kind of like gone off mostly because of the heating like the heating in the room and the fact that the sun's out so unfortunately that had gone off so I had to put that in the bin which makes me really sad <laughs> so I had no bread and I really really wanted a sandwich and I couldn't even make a sandwich so Katie was very very sad so I'm just checking that I did put the thing away that I was meant to put away because yeah I get a bit forgetful sometimes so yeah washing up's been done I've had my lunch already and yeah my cup of tea is probably getting cold mm, sort of so I actually filmed my weekly TBR and it's currently just uploading now so it's nearly 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 uploaded and yeah I just need to upload it to YouTube which really doesn't take long these days and create the thumbnail and then I'm planning on listening to a little bit more of the Spanish I want to like actually finish the audiobook of the Spanish and then I can go on to actual physical reading so I've got five books on my weekly CBR uh, reason being because I'm in the middle of three of them and also one of them's of the new ones is a review book so I thought I'd better add that because I need to get my review books done and out of the way and also because I'm off work this week so I feel like reading is just going to be well I feel like it's going to be a lot better and I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better but obviously that just depends on me and my motivation but I feel like at the moment my motivation is a lot better like with things I'm drinking more water lately and yeah I just I definitely definitely feel like my motivation is a lot stronger I only about 
one bag of sweets. Now, I know it was naughty, but that bag of sweets is going to last me the week. I've already had some today, and I probably won't have any more today. Because actually, to be honest, because I took one of my antibiotics today because it's a it's a strange one it's one that you take three times a week and I've never had that before so I was thinking like do I take it Monday and then Wednesday evening and then Saturday morning like yeah don't really know like maybe it should be like Monday midday Wednesday night and Saturday morning so actually I did take the Monday's midday today so then it'd be like Wednesday night and then Saturday morning yeah, it's very strange, but I've got to collect the rest of my antibiotics tomorrow because I didn't quite have all of them ready. So I'm hoping that they will have them tomorrow. They said to come tomorrow evening, so I might like I might have to collect them Wednesday, like um, because i'll be at aaron's tomorrow so i'll probably be staying the night tuesday and then going home on wednesday so yeah i think it's it, it's more likely going to be that i collect it on the wednesday and yeah and then that way i will at least have have them i'm actually multitasking right now you should actually be really really proud of me i'm just i'm just doing my thumbnail so yeah, you should be very, very proud of me <laughs> that the fact that I can actually multitask and do do this. Like it's a very, very proud Katie moment. Very, very proud Katie moment. But yeah, I'm just uh, well. These are the times, these days when we've got to multitask. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think that's like near enough all that I've done today. To be honest. Nothing else really needs to be done. I've done the laundry, like I said, and the washing up that needed to be done. I've had my lunch. I'm just feeling a bit, and I know these are side effects, but I'm feeling really sleepy and headachey, and like, uh. So, mm, I'm gonna see how I feel. I've got to try and make the rehearsal tonight because I, I've missed. I missed. Well, I didn't go last Wednesdays, and I couldn't go Sunday because I was working my weekend on to work so yeah I'm just I really I really need to go and they're running at one and that's the act that my line is in so I've got to try my best but I've just got such a painful headache and I know it's probably to do with these painkillers but I feel like I honestly just need to man up or woman up and just go because it's it's only for two hours fifteen minutes, probably not even that if if they let us go a little bit earlier. So yes, yeah, probably not even going to be that. But I just yeah, I don't really know. Really, guys, don't really know. I'm just <sighs> so I think after I've done this video. I don't actually I don't actually need to do because what I might do is on Wednesday and Thursday I could do video editing like no matter what but I'm really really up to date with my video editing in fact I've got a video scheduled for like nearly every day of this week apart from obviously like filming and uploading Friday reads and Sunday wrap up but I'm um, I've got a video like every other day so I've got a video Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Saturday already scheduled to go up so I'm actually well away in things like that so I I don't have any issues with doing videos so like in between and all that jazz I could do things like like read like actually read I can actually read so I my friends I'm going to head off now and finish off doing this thumbnail which I've actually nearly done and then upload this video and then I'm gonna try and get some reading done I'm gonna try and get some reading done I say try hopefully I can um, like just before rehearsal at least would be good 
if I could. Would be good if I could. I'm planning on hopefully on on Thursday, like trying to game as well. So yeah. But that's all folks. That's all that's happened. And the plan for this week in general. So yeah. Gonna do some Spanish. Finish that audiobook. Do some physical reading. And then it should be rehearsal time. But I'll obviously have a bit of dinner beforehand, which is most likely actually I was planning on having a salad. So yeah, I'm gonna probably have that. So I'm gonna head off now. Sorry for the long vlog, but yeah, it's Monday and that's the plan. And I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I'm back home now. I went to see Aaron yesterday and I think I went over about three-ish. And yeah, I stayed over there. We had kebabs for dinner. And yeah, we just pretty much kind of like chilled. And then chilled today, to be honest as well. Had the rest of our kebabs for lunch. And then I left around 5 p.m. Um, I got my new rotor. I had to like pick up a shift and sort an annual leave date because I'm down 13 hours in like two weeks time so I was like one of the annual leave will, will go on to some point next week which will make up like half of that shift and then what I'll do is I'll pick up a random half shift um, at the weekend I just found out when Aaron was working and I was just like okay I'll work one random day on their weekend um, but just as a morning so it's not actually too bad so I've done that and that's all sorted so that's brilliant um, it's really cool if only I could actually afford to work two shifts a week it'd be brilliant but unfortunately I can't I have to work the hours that I have to work so anyway it's sorted so that's all good but that's not until I go back anyway I'm still off work I've still got Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday and even Monday before I go back because I'm not actually back until the Tuesday <clears throat> so I've actually got five days off until I return to work but four days of pay pretty much so I'm back here now I'm just cooking my dinner in the halogen I'm as you can see I've got shit of salad just on this plate coleslaw tomato cucumber and my favorite floret lettuce and then I'm cooking this Mediterranean veg so it's like onions peppers courgettes and just a few fish fingers it's a random random dinner but I'm trying to eat the stuff that I've got and I was like, I mm, kind of want to eat the shingers, but I also kind of need to eat the vegetables because they're going to go off. So, yeah, doing that. <coughs> Today is cookie cleaning day. So, after dinner, a little bit later tonight, I'll give them a clean. Then I'll hoover the place because it is like really, really dirty on the carpet. Like, little bits of fluff is everywhere. Because somebody stupidly left a tissue in their trousers when they washed them can't think of who that could be and then I need to empty the bins I've already got the bins kind of repaired but I won't empty them until a bit later tonight when I'm not gonna need them anymore like probably around nine o'clock when I head to my bedroom so yeah I've got them ready here waiting recycling and obviously my normal bin so yeah I'm obviously I'm gonna take my antibiotic tonight because it's my next one in line it's, it's Monday lunch Wednesday evening, Saturday morning. That's the only way I can like spread it out evenly. So I'm gonna take it tonight. I'm probably gonna get a stupid headache again and tiredness and fatigue. But that's yeah, that will kind of work like fatigue wise if I take it tonight because I'll be like, oh, ready for bed. So yeah, it's uh, cray cray. So I haven't done any, any I did a little bit of reading yesterday did a very very tiny bit today so I would like to do a bit more reading but I'm feeling very sluggish like I'm feeling really slumpish and sluggish like I'm literally just like I'm sat here just like don't really want to do anything like I'm feeling very lazy and it's almost like I'm lacking motivation I really need to give myself a kick up the ass and like I think what I need is water I haven't had a lot of that today so I'm pouring my, my jug now and I will have some. 
I will have some water. Um, I had a banana this morning for my breakfast. I did bring one along to me to Aaron's because I was like, I must continue on this breakfast thing. I'm trying to do this plan where I eat breakfast. So I had a banana, then we had lunch, and I'm having dinner now. And that's like all I'm gonna have. I haven't snacked or anything. I might have a few of my little teeth and lip sweets later, but only just like a little handful. So yeah, there is that. Um, but yeah. The plan for tomorrow I think was to game like I really just wanted to game like I haven't actually I did kind of game a little bit yesterday but not a lot but I want to actually sit down and just like wake up in the morning and just from nine o'clock just nine till I don't know 12 or something just game do you know what I mean like just game I've got plenty of time to do that though so it's not like it's the end of the world but i would like to game i just i really really can't wait for final fantasy 7 remake to come out that's like my ultimate pre-order like oh my god but actually the demo of resident evil 3 comes out tomorrow i believe so if that comes out i'll give it a play see what i think if it's something i like if i don't find it too scary then i'll get it resident evil 2 kind of scared me with the fact that like that mutant x monster man that was walking around the mansion after me well the police station mansion thing and I was just like yeah he terrified me because he would just come out of nowhere dun, dun, dun. I'd be like oh no seriously I was just about to do the next task <laughs> just, yeah but reading needs to be definitely on the agenda so I think I really honestly just need to sit down and start reading once I start reading I tend to create a sort of motivational push i suppose like but yeah i just i just need to get myself to breed but i just i lack motivation i think that's just because i'm, f I'm just feeling so sluggish I might have a bath tonight i'm sort of like contemplating it is my shower day today so i'm contemplating having a bath so maybe i could have a bath and do a bit of reading then as well just get myself relaxed and in the mood and just chilling and just oh. so yeah that's that's a plan for later um wow i just had, I just had a sudden thought because my show has been cancelled barnum because of the coronavirus that's going on so people can't go to theaters pubs nightclubs and all that sort of thing because of this virus so because I'm not doing this show anymore, I'm kind of tempted to just go yellow and do my hair blue again. A lot of people have been saying for me to do it and I'm kind of really, really tempted. So I think when I get my pace up and when I like work out my bills and all that, like what my credit card is going to be, because on my credit card, the, the biggest things on my credit card is going to be Final Fantasy 7 game because I bought the first class edition and my TV license which I'm so fuming about is like £154 and I'm just like seriously and that's and that's even if you like watch live videos on YouTube on any device like I'm so they're so oh it just irritates me so much like I'm just gonna get myself annoyed so I think I don't know what to do with my reading like because I'm feeling quite slumpish I don't know whether to maybe try and read something else like maybe if I try and read and finish something else that I do want to read maybe like a contemporary or, or, or a reread or something then it will boost me to read like my other books that are on my TBR I'm just I'm feeling like I'm just losing myself with reading my year hasn't gone very well with reading I felt really really good when I finished Shadow and Bones and so then I started reading another book and then it just kind of like went again because it was like a new week so I don't know whether I just need to read something that I really, really want to read and then go back into reading. Yeah, just, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, Dark Shadow Magic, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Like, I'm not loving it like I did with Shadow and Bone, but like, maybe that is also the issue as well. But I'm, yeah, nothing, I think I need something that's going to be like really, really like, wow, this is amazing. I can't stop reading it, boom, finished, and then I can go on to reading like other books. So I might like stop it for now and then read, like I say, either a contemporary or a reread. I've got loads of rereads that I need to do anyway, so I might do that. Or I could look and purge my bookshelf and just see what I want to read. Let's face it guys, 
my TBR isn't set in stone. It's just a way for me to try and aim for a goal, like read the books I want to read, read my Bacopoli books, read books that are on my 2020 TBR that I've chosen for me to read this year, you know, read books I don't normally read, like read books I've owned for quite a while sort of thing. So I could purge my bookshelf and see if there's a book that's jumping out at me or like the book rate. Um, until I find, if there's a book that's jumping at me, I'm just going to start and read it, and I'll read that this evening. So, yeah, I think that's the plan for the evening with that. Um, my dinner's, like, just about ready, so I'm going to head off now, and I will speak to you guys very, very soon once I've decided on everything. Thursday and I'm here to let you know what's been going on so I woke up like just before 6 a.m. this morning believe it or not I was wide awake I went to the toilet so I decided to read so I read some of Emmy and Oliver a couple of chapters and then I actually dozed off so I kind of worked woke up around 10 and I actually got up had some breakfast cup of tea actually no I had a cappuccino this morning so breakfast cereal and cappuccino and some water had a glass of water and i downloaded the resident evil 3 demo and then i updated my diary because i haven't done that in a while like over a week and then i started watching some more people's top books of 2019 so i can add further books to the list because some people have done their videos quite late so i've just been watching those um, and then I was like, right, I need to get my housework done. I set myself a list to do today. I needed to go through my kitchen, need to go through my cupboards and my food. So I started with my food cupboard first. I went through my cans and then I wiped the shelf. There was two really horrible sticky marks from like two probably oils that have created that. So I got rid of those marks and then I tidied the cupboard, threw out things I, I didn't need um, or that had expired um, and then I tidied it, organised it, I took the candles out of the shelf and I put them in my room in a drawer with the other candles so that's good, they're all in one place now so that's now like a strictly food cupboard only like with oils and spices and everything and then I, I just noticed like the muscle in my arm is really like from all the wiping today it's just really like up and flexed like what is with that um yeah done a lot of scrubbing today and tidied the cup like the cupboard i threw out a few things like i say and some things recycled i found loads of carrier bags like all over the cupboards from where i'd moved here and so i've tidied them i've put one big tote full of like little totes of like material bags and then one big tote bag 
um, like big shopper bag full of carry bags. So what I'll do is I'll start using the carry bags, maybe as like bin bags. I've got so many, I've probably literally got like a 20 quid's worth of carry bags because they're worth like I think 30p or more now. So yeah. <laughs> they're kind of like gold dust but i've got so many that i've just collected throughout the years back when they were free um so yeah so i'm perfectly fine for carry bags so yeah i might start using those <clears throat> and then um yeah i've just done some washing up yeah i feel really good and then i've cleaned the front door bit of the washing machine because it had some sort of like scaling on there from obviously the washing so I went and got a sponge and some biocal and a microfiber cloth and I just washed and wiped the washing machine door so now that's like sparkling clean it makes me feel really good so I've done that yeah I've done a load of washing today <clears throat> so yeah that's pretty good like washing cleaning I haven't done laundry washing I've just done like washing cleaning so it feels really good there's my kitchen right now um yeah it's all clean washing up as you can see is there done sides have been done been wiped and the cupboard over there that's where the food is i sorted out my medicine drawer just trying to look and see what drugs i've got available how much paracetamol i've got available i took my second antibiotic last night and it gave me a little headache so i had to take some paracetamol that's what we're really really having a shortage of at the moment in this coronavirus situation <clears throat> My nan came over and dropped off a load of like food as well, like for my freezer and for my cupboards that um, she didn't need for her, like at my aunt's. She took some to my aunt's, so yeah, she's got some for her. Um, and she just gave me some bits that she didn't need so I've put them in my cupboard and I was just like purging my cupboard just to see like what meals I could have, like um, hopefully because I've got some meals it would only mean that I just need to get basics next week so like bread sandwich meats and salad so that's really really good that's not a lot so that's good I've got loads of soups that I can just eat from um, I've got some frozen stuff to eat from um, I've got a pasta meal I've got a couple of super noodle meals so I think I'm kitted out for a couple of weeks realistically meal wise but yeah i just need to get basics so my nan and my aunt have now gone into isolation because it's like a government thing so my nan's gone down to my aunt's my nan will occasionally go back to hers because obviously she'll need to collect mail she'll have to do the garden she just won't like bump into anybody along the way um so yeah so i said to her to let me know when she is back at hers um, and also like the beginning of the month when she's there so that I can plan and wash my bedding like wash and change my bedding like beginning of the month so that I can put my tumble dryer worst comes to worst I'll try and time it so that I'm at Aaron's because he's got a tumble dryer as well so I can get my bedding all like dried I can wash it here that's no problem um, it's just about drying it because there's always a lot of sheets and it's just very difficult to put them on my actual dryer here so yeah tricky situation really um so yeah that's that's all i've done really today i'm just about to have some lunch i've got myself a sandwich crisps a yogurt a banana and some biscuits um and i'm gonna watch some more top people's books of 2019 i might try and like watch all of them and then get those done out the way and then I'm thinking of playing the demo of Resident Evil 3 because that's just been downloaded to my PlayStation and then I'll probably do a bit more reading um, and then I might try this game Death Stranding I'm borrowing it off of Aaron at the moment um, I've just been told it's like quite a weird game so yeah but I remember being really sort of like excited about it when I first heard about it and obviously we've got good old my favorite man on here so yeah that's that's it really so yeah at the moment everything's all good in the hood I feel good that I've done some cleaning it means I've got up and moved around and done something I've earned an appetite I thought I'd try and do it just to sort of like earn something and also with tidying I've found things that 
I didn't realize I had like more tea bags I thought I'd run out um, and I have a lot of coffee so that's really good um, and yeah just discovered things that I didn't realize that I had but like loads of carrier bags so it's just mental so yeah so I'm gonna head off and do these 2019 best books add them to my list my bowl of book choices and yeah play a bit of gaming do a bit of reading maybe a little more gaming yeah I'm just gonna dip in and out of like gaming and reading and watching videos I'm just gonna do all sorts um so yeah so I'm gonna head off now and hopefully I will speak to you guys very soon hello it's later on in the evening 7 30 and I've literally just cooked my dinner which is right here I am having chicken steaks with coleslaw salad and sweet corn and sweet potato fries so this is my dinner for tonight um, I'm just washing the halogen which is just in the background it has a self wash thing on it but I haven't actually washed it in a while so I'm gonna let it do a proper like heated wash and then I will like scrub around the side sort of thing to like get it properly clean so I have played the I I actually first of all I, I watched the rest of the 2019 top of videos I had probably about 17 videos originally in the playlist to watch and I watched all of those so I've done all of them they're in the jar now of 2019 recommendations and then I went and played the Resident Evil 3 demo. I set up my gaming channel, Kit Kat Skin Game is the channel name. So if you'd like to follow my gaming channel, I'll link it down below as well. And I'm also going to link the demo of the gameplay that I did. So I managed to stream it on my PlayStation 4 and I used my mic and I was speaking whilst gaming. So it was about an hour in total, quite a long demo. Well, that's just how long the demo took me. I've never played Resident Evil 3 before. I didn't play the original, so this is the first time playthrough. Whilst streaming, whilst not being very good at aiming, because I never normally am, but sometimes I am. Sometimes like, I always find I aim pretty well, but yeah, there are other times when I don't, <laughs> so. so yeah, <clears throat> and yeah, so I uploaded that, and you know what, it's given me the urge to do a bit more gaming uploading, and hopefully if I can be a bit consistent with that, then maybe I can be part of like the gaming industry, as because I do game as well as read, but I've never streamed before, so this is a new thing for me, um, so I'm very, very happy that PlayStation has, or Sony in general, has given me this feature where you can link the YouTube. So the YouTube channel is linked on my PlayStation now, so whenever I do stream a game or broadcast it, I will put it on my channel. So yeah, I'm currently listening to relaxing music on my TV um, whilst I'm eating my dinner. And then I'm gonna read some more because I haven't done any more reading since this morning. I've, you know what, I've done a lot. I've, I'm really proud of myself today and I'm feeling really good. I sorted my kitchen, I sorted my cupboards out, I did loads of washing up, I sorted the carrier bags, I cleaned the washing machine door. I literally, I'd done the housework that I've needed to do and I've been meaning to do my kitchen for ages, since like January or something, and I've done that now. So I'm feeling really, really good. The only thing that I haven't done today, which is what I was hoping I'd get done today, is play a little bit of this, Death Stranding, but I haven't had the chance to, and to be honest, I'm not, like, massively upset about that. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm not really upset at all. So, yeah, my halogen's just finished washing. Look how dirty that water was. That just goes to show the dirt, but it actually, you know, all you gotta do is push washing up liquid in it, and this was a few jugs of water, it heats it up, it's really, really hot at the moment, and then it swells it around and washes it. So all I gotta do is I'll get a cloth to wipe this part, and then I'll wipe the lid as well, but when it cools down, obviously, because it's a bit too hot. The washing up is currently soaking, 
so that's all in there I'll wash that in like 10 minutes or so just turn the switch off so yes yeah, so I'm feeling really good I'll just quickly show you my kitchen actually like what I've done so this is my cupboard where I keep my food now it looks like a lot but I've organized it so originally I had candles up here I've moved that to my bedroom now so I've got like shake away sort of drinks up there like if I ever wanted a meal replacement I've got crackers, stock cubes, crisps, sugar then I've got fruit slices, rice pudding, sweetener, cereal and then down here I've tidied it down here and rearranged it so I've got my condiments, salt, pepper, oils and herbs and spices and all that then I've got drinks, so squash, a couple of bits of alcohol, apple juice and then this side I've got like sort of small meals so that's like super noodles, little pasta meals I've got soups, I've got a tiniest little bit of rice left I've got a little bit of pasta, I've got tuna chunks sweet corn, some peas and some mash at the back so I'll be using from those but my nan gave me some more today and I can use those towards meals I've got a jack of potato here as well she gave me today here is my fruit bowl whoa here is my fruit bowl but I also got like these mini milks for me to use from as well and then here's my bread my mug and my bowl ready for tomorrow and yeah so I've tidied this cupboard as well and in here we've got tea and coffee and then medicine and then hot water bottles and a tea cosy and then down the bottom we have my carrier bags and my tote bags and even gift bags I also keep one newspaper on me at a time and that is so if my shoes ever get soaked especially from work if you put a newspaper in your shoes overnight pull them out in the morning it absorbs all the water there's a little life hack for you so yeah and then the other cupboard that I did today was my container cupboard so that's all tidied now as you can see very very tidy saucepans my jack of potato cooker lunchbox my containers grater that's all in there and I also tidied this drawer which has like anything like maintenance things like screwdrivers two allen keys and then I've got cling film a few bags and tin foil and back clips batteries and I had a little tidy of my medicine drawer very very organized and OCD like because hashtag OCD so yes I've done my kitchen today so I'm feeling really really good about that so I'm gonna head off now I'm gonna have my dinner then I'm gonna do a bit of reading because like I say I haven't read since this morning and I want to get back into it now I've got the reading bug again which is really really good so I'll listen to this relaxing music whilst reading and then I'll just see where it takes me if it takes me to roughly 9 30 let's say then I'll head to my bedroom for the night but at the moment I'm feeling quite wide awake and I think that's just because I had an early wake up slept for a couple of hours and then I've just been venturing throughout the day maybe I'm really awake because I've just played a scary game as well and I'm just really alert like not knowing what to do or to, what to expect so yeah that's happened as well so yes that's my plan for the rest of this evening I will either vlog for you guys later tonight or tomorrow morning letting you know what I've managed to get done for today <laughs> Saturday and I'm home at the moment so I came home about 3 p.m. I actually left um, a bit before but I went on a trek to get these jars from this Facebook user from Facebook market she was selling these jars and I was like oh they could be really really handy for my like big tube things and um, she was selling like all of them for like four quid like for these five jars and they look so so cool so I went on a track to go get them and I ended up going down the wrong road and my car 
went into a ditch which was really really embarrassing and some people had to help push my car out and then I found that I had my handbrake on at one point and that was embarrassing and then they walked off really quickly and I was just like I wanted to say thank you but they walked off really quickly and I was just like oh like I couldn't even you know I really wanted to be like thank you but then these extra people walked along it was so embarrassing one of the most embarrassing moments I've ever had in my life and my poor car Maggie her front bumper on the right hand side kind of, it's kind of got like ripped, ripped down a bit so I'm hoping when it goes in for like a service or something um that I can get it sorted like I mentioned it to them but like oh like it got caught under a pothole or something and yeah couldn't believe it that wrong turn just did everything because it was a road of potholes and the ground just raised and it caught underneath my bumper and I got stuck and then I was just I was so anxious I was so embarrassed and yeah I, I just I couldn't believe it at all so um <laughs> at least the weather's good and I've had a really good day because I went to see Aaron yesterday and we like we've been arranging like how we're gonna sort our days off now because Aaron works night shifts he's working five a week he gets two days off so if I see him I'm just like what's better for you for you to sleep straight away for several hours and then I come over and stay the night or is it easier if I don't know that he stays awake until I don't know the same time until 3 p.m and then and then he sleeps for the rest of the day like I was just like what's better I was like we can always like alternate it like if we really wanted to go out for lunch or something we wanted to go out for lunch today but they've the government has made the decision here in the UK to shut restaurants um we luckily we luckily managed to find Pizza Hut which we're doing a takeaway so a couple of bases are doing takeaways so yeah we got some takeaway pizza with some chips not the same as the restaurant we were hoping to go to but you know it was better than going for a trek for nothing i was just like <sighs> and what doesn't help is that i took my antibiotic this morning and the side effect that i'm getting from this morning is that it's really starting to affect my stomach i'm getting horrible stomach cramps and <sighs> running to the loo and it's just not great that's all i'm gonna say so Oh uh, yeah, it's just affected me in a different way. The first time I took it, I took it at lunchtime and it was on a Monday and I had a headache for the rest of the day. Second time I took it, it was Wednesday evening. Got a slight headache, but I took some paracetamol and then I went to bed because they these tablets made me tired. That was probably the best time that I took it sort of thing. But today I've taken it in the morning and I had some food as well. Um, I had a banana and yeah, just it's just been painful ever since and then just driving home with these horrible like oh, they're just sort of like lower lower body cramps and they can be painful and I was just like I just want to get home so I got these jars and then I got home and I just want to forget about this afternoon completely so and I said this to Aaron earlier I said I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna look at my books and I think that's honestly what I'm going to do because I'm feeling a little bit slumpish again like I kind of want to do a little bit of reading but I I kind of want to look at my books and if there's a book that jumps out at me that I really really want to read I'm just going to pick it out and read it like screw the TBR at the moment just with this bloody apocalypse thing that's going on anybody would think that there's some sort of weird zombie shit going on but honestly you can't you can't go out and eat you can't go out and celebrate birthdays or anything because like nothing's open cinemas aren't open theaters aren't open pubs aren't even going to be open now they're officially closing those everybody's going to be out of business everybody's going to be out of jobs i luckily work in the healthcare sector so i suppose i'm lucky in that sense but um, just yeah it's just yes there's just no other words i can say about this just it's just it's mental it's crazy and yeah just i really don't know i really, really don't know so yes yeah, so i'm feeling a little bit bookishly slumpish and i think that's just because that i feel crap as in like these antibiotics are making me feel really crap 
I'm feeling really tired and I'm thinking I need something that hopefully if I enjoy it that it will perk me up and I can get some reading done so yeah maybe I can pick a Casey West book because they've got loads of her books that I haven't read yet or Jennifer Armantrout book got loads of their books that I haven't read yet they're on my agenda they're sat here like on the side just waiting like maybe yeah if there's a book that just jumps at me I might even look at my kindle as well see if there's a book on there that maybe jumps at me and whatever jumps out I'm just gonna read it because I'm feeling pretty poopy anyway so I've opened my windows in my flat just to sort of like air it out because I haven't been here for like 24 hours so I've opened my bathroom that's airing out because it's quite windy today so it's airing out the bathroom slash the area that cookie is and the one out here in the living room is airing out the living room I need to change the date on my calendar block thing because it still says the 19th so yeah I've got to sort these jars out as well but at least it gives me something to do and in the process of doing these jars I might find a book in the shelf somewhere I'm hoping I can find something in the shelf that will be really really good for me to just like become be like yep yeah, totally reading that so yeah I'm gonna see what I can find what I'm in the mood for yada 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 and yeah then i'll speak to you guys very very soon hey guys today is sunday and i'm just going to wrap up the end of the week for you it's been an interesting week and if i had to say the highlight of my week it's really difficult to say a highlight of the week because i haven't actually done a lot but sorting these books could be a highlight of the week and i had real fun food shopping today <laughs> I saw Aaron, that could be a highlight of the week. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd say that the biggest highlight of the week for me was actually creating a gaming channel. So, Kick Ass and Game is a, you know, is a way for me to escape gaming wise. And even if nobody watches, like, I'm just, it's experience for me. And I'm having fun doing it. And it gives me something different to do. So yeah, that probably is my ultimate highlight of the week. So I'm feeling really proud of that. So I've had a good week and I return to work next week. Only three shifts next week. So yeah, Tuesday and the weekend. So I'm off tomorrow and then Wednesday I'm seeing Aaron and then I've got Thursday and Friday off and then I'm working the weekend. So yeah, so should be a good week next week too. Fingers crossed. Just trying to remain positive, despite everything that's gone on. You wouldn't believe the lack of food that was in co-op today. When I went to get my food shopping, I had to buy some expensive brands. So I ended up... My nan said she spends about £25 a week on me, normally when she got my food shopping. But I ended up spending £28. I was £3 over, but I had to buy like expensive brands. It was just, I just couldn't get anything. Couldn't get any loaves of bread. Couldn't get any Actimel. I just, I got some things on a deal. Got most things on a deal. Got some baguettes. So hopefully they can last the week. I hope that I can. It would be good. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's it really. I just hope this virus thing dies down, stops, and just, yeah, it just, it needs to stop. But this panic buying is ridiculous and it stresses me out. But, you know, I got everything that I wanted and needed, so it's, it's not the end of the world. I'm surviving, I've got a roof over my head, I've still got a job, so I'm just trying to remain positive in these dark times. So I'm going to end this video now. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this vlog. But that's it for me guys. All of my social media links is always a link down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere. But most importantly, keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!